right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back. We're going to be looking at uh, part one of DNA. So this is all about structure of the DNA, uh, and also we're going to get into the process of DNA replication. We're going to be looking at the structure first of all, so this is just a little cartoon on the interpretation of the structure of the 1953 when it was discovered. Uh, you will have to give more detail than this, so you can stop it and, and read this one. Okay, so let's look at it. We talked about this before in nucleic acids, that DNA is made up of nucleotides. So let's look at it. What does it consist of? So first of all, it's got this phosphate sugar backbone. We call it phosphate and deoxyribose. That's where the deoxyribonucleic acid comes from. Uh, more specifically, it's a phosphoric acid. And more specifically, it's a pentose sugar, which means a five carbon chain. Carbon ring, actually. And the last one is the nitrogen bases. And we know that the G's and the C's go together and the A's and the T's, so I'll just skip ahead to this, so G's and C's go together and A's and T's because they're complementary. Alright, so DNA structure continued, we talked about that phosphate sugar backbone, in here it's a little bit more simplified, uh, we have our uh, deoxyribose sugar here and our phosphate, so again just makes up the sides of the ladders. Two strands twisted into a double helix, this little shape is called a helix, so when we have two of them it's called a double helix. And like I said, the thing that creates this force, this attraction between the bases, is a hydrogen bond like we talked about. So we have this polar end of uh, one side and the polar end of the other is going to want to join. So H on one side and the OH of the other, or I guess just really the O. And as we know, if we look at DNA, certain sections of that DNA is going to make up a gene. And what do genes do? Uh, gene is what's going to actually determine the end product of a protein. So the big thing here, what we're looking at with protein synthesis, DNA, uh, is the making of a protein. The way that the DNA is arranged is going to tell us specifically what protein is going to make, be made, and that uh, relates to all the different functions in the body. All right, so now that we know the structure, uh, sometimes we're going to have to replicate this DNA. So we're going to have to make the exact same stuff. So why would we want to do that? Uh, so first with some background, replication just means turning one DNA helix into two DNA helix, helices. Uh, the reason why we'd want to do this, if we ever get hurt and have to repair our cells, uh, in order to get a new cell you want to have the same DNA in it, so it needs to uh, replicate. Also if we want to grow, in order to have uh, any growth, uh, cell division, we need to have uh, identif identically uh, identical cells. <clears throat> and like I said, each cell needs an extra copy, so that's why we need two sets of DNA. Uh, one thing might be new from the last time you've heard about DNA is that there's a conservative, so ignore most of this for the, for, for the most part, uh, semi-conservative means that here's our original DNA, and what's going to happen is it breaks apart, okay? So each strand that's going to form, so here is your new strand that's forming, right? You're going to have two new strands from that first one, but each one of the new strands has an old piece that we use to as a template. So that's the semi-conservative part, okay? It just means that each new piece of DNA will have an old piece that was used as the template. Okay, so look at the process now. This looks a little bit complicated, and, and, and it is, but there's pretty much three enzymes that we care about. The first one is DNA helicase. As you can see here, it's this triangle shape here. It's a protein, specifically an enzyme. What it's going to do, it's going to catalyze this reaction to break apart uh, those DNA bases. So it's really unwinding and unzipping the helix. The next one is DNA polymerase, which is right here. What it's going to do is it's going to take uh, these DNA nucleotides, these DNA nucleotides, and it's going to grab them and it's going to start pairing them up one by one uh, in a complementary fashion to that existing uh, template. Okay, so it's going to do it by the DNA polymerase. And then the third one is called DNA ligase, and all that's going to do is it's going to fix any any errors or missing sections uh, in the DNA, and we'll talk about why that's going to be the case in a second. Okay, so you're going to want to know the three. So we have helicase, DNA polymerase, and ligase. 
and we'll talk about some ways to remember those in class. So there's one part we still need to touch on and that's just the direction of the movement. As you can see there's a 3 and 5 end of each side. Uh, our DNA polymerase likes to go from 3 to 5 making its uh, or attaching its DNA nucleotides. So as you can see this one nicely breaks apart and every time it breaks apart there's a new nucleotide that's added. But unfortunately this side is op opposite because they're complementary. So 3 to 5 is going the opposite dire direction. So when this is opening up, the DNA nucleotides are being added this way. So the further away it goes, the further away it gets from the, uh, the helicase. So what happens is that there's gaps. And so what we have are these things called Okazaki fragments. And these Okazaki fragments are what is added. They're whole pieces, like segments, like multiple nucleotides uh, put together in one spot. So it's just a big chunk of nucleotide, which made up a base, the phosphate, sugar backbone, and it's put right in. And then finally, that's why that ligase is so important because it comes around and fixes any breaks. So a break here in between the, as you can see, let me erase it again, there's, there's a break in between that backbone, and so it fills it in. So gaps, Okazaki fragments, the breaks, DNA ligase. Okay? Need to know? three parts of nucleotide, four types of complementary bases, and then the three enzymes, uh, which we have uh, HDL, helicase, D, uh, DNA polymerase, and ligase. Okay, have an excellent night.